Welcome back. Yes, a slightly disastrous Earl Grey, a travesty. It's time for our final games for tonight, starting with the last letters. And uh, Jeremy, what would you like? As a creature of habit, I'll start with a consonant, Lily. Thanks, Jeremy. H. And a vowel, please. <laughs> e. And a consonant. <laughs> I can pretty much run this myself, you know. <laughs> yep. B. A vowel, please. <laughs> a. And a consonant. R. And a vowel. O. And a consonant. D. And a consonant. N. And a vowel. <laughs> e. Almost had a streak. 30 seconds. <laughs> Did you rip the rewards of consistency, Jeremy? Oh, possibly. I have a six. Six for you, Ken? I have a six. And what was yours? My six was header. Header. Could you spell that? H-E-A-D-E-R. Sounds like a football term, Jeremy. I have Harden. No problem there, David. Not at all. Good uh, sixes both. Harden, of course, is fine. Uh, I only went one better with Broaden as a possible seven. Good work. And six very solid points each for Jeremy and Ken. More numbers now, and um, Ken, you went with an adventurer last time, the, the one big and five smalls, this time? Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> one, one large and five small, the adventurer, and our numbers, five, three, ten, two, six, and the large number is 75, and the target to reach is 972. Big target. <laughs> close on those last numbers, Ken? 975, I think. 975, just three off. Good work. Jeremy? I think I have 972. You could be spot on target, so that sounds good. Tell us how you did it, please. Okay, so firstly I've done 10 plus 3 is 13. 10 plus 3 is 13. And times 75 gets you 975. 5 to 75 is 975. Then take away 2 gets to 973. 973. And to get the last one, I've done 6 minus 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. Take that away. 972. Well done, Jeremy. Absolutely. Spot on target, Jeremy. Well done. Did you take the same approach, Lily? Oh, more or less. I, I found the three, the remaining three, in a different way, but yeah. A, a very good method. Yeah. Good um, stuff. There's actually another method, too, Lily. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> there is. And look, I'll be, I'll be honest here. I would have been terrified at doing this six months ago, eight months ago. But uh, sitting here beside you for the last while, I've really picked up the courage and the technique, and it's tweaking again. So 10 plus 2 in brackets. 10 plus 2. In brackets. Yep. Times 75 plus 6 in brackets. 75 plus. Fantastic. Which is bang on, 972. Wowie. Well done. Thanks, Whoa. <laughs> Thanks to you. Very, very, very elegant solution, and that, that is a classic bit of tweakage, isn't yeah, it, Lily? Yeah, it, it, beautiful, because 75 by 12 is 900, and 12 by 6 is 72, so well done, David. Two-line solution. Well, we salute you. It's got Lily's fingerprints all over it. <laughs> Thank you very much, and also, very importantly, a big 10 points for Jeremy. So the scores, Ken is on 30, Jeremy way past the half century again, 57. Now let's have that final jolt of adrenaline, tonight's conundrum. So let's reveal the conundrum. Your time starts now.
it was not one where the buzzers sounded. So let's have a look at tonight's conundrum solution. And it is rigmarole. So the scores haven't changed. That means after the final round, our winner tonight is our carryover champion, Jeremy. But Ken, it was a great game. There was some uh, great play and it was lovely to have you with us this evening. Thank you very much, Richard. And, of course, a Macquarie Dictionary for you to take home. Lovely. Thank you. Now, Jeremy, last night you finished uh, with the conundrum in about one second. Tonight was a particularly tough one, but still a spectacular score, well over the half century. Yeah, it was all right, but no, that conundrum definitely did not jump out of me today. <laughs> well, we hope you'll jump back into uh, the carryover champion chair tomorrow night, and we look forward to your company. Thank you. And, David, the, uh, the old dictionary won't be back tomorrow. <laughs> no, it was actually making me sneeze. No, I won't bring it. <laughs> Good stuff. See you then, anyway. See you then. Now, Lily, you mentioned at the start of the show that, um, that you had some way of telling the time by the sun, you know, to accurately keep appointments and things yes. like that. How, how does it work? OK, so you look at the sun and then you count the number of hands like this between the sun and the horizon and each hand counts for one hour. Accurately. Uh, yeah, within <laughs> give or take three hours. Maybe. <laughs> it sounds like a very reliable method. No, it sounds it sounds good. I must try that. <laughs> See you tomorrow night, Lily. It has been another great night here at Letters and Numbers. We will be back tomorrow, and I think around about one hand just above the horizon, <laughs> with some more good puzzle play. Until then, good night.